All right, so we are here to drop, and uh, so this Firebird is um, no start issue. Uh, the uh, the driveway that this thing was in was uh. was at just like a bit of an angle to where whenever I, I loaded I didn't uh, I didn't have my bed the exact way that I probably should have and um, which ended up forcing the vehicle more towards the passenger side of, of my record so I uh, I have it really close to the uh, to the rail over there I mean, it's not touching or nothing but and even if it did the tires on this is they're wider than the rim so it wouldn't hurt nothing but I typically try to center the vehicle on the bed the best that I can obviously it's not the not necessarily the uh, worst thing in the world for the truck you know I mean this it'd be different if this were like a super heavy vehicle or something but it is uh it is a light a light little sports car, well, it's supposed to be. I don't know really how light it is. All right. So when I wrap these up, and I, I know everybody's gonna be different with this, I actually do it with this in the thing like this, and then I run this. I run my, ta my tag in, my tail in, through so close this up, okay. So what I'll do is, see that line? I'll just do this, right? So this away. Now, come time for me to uh, have to do a two-timer, you know, double up and put one on the stinger. Um, whenever I unravel it, this is already in the little pre-made loop, ready to go around the tire, you know what I mean? So. I mean, it's just one of the, I kind of really do try to think of the ways to have the truck set up to where whenever I get out of the truck, I can be as efficient as possible. But I'm going to be honest with y'all, my ADHD is so absolutely for real and evident in my life <clears throat> that it is very difficult um, to stay in the same exact pattern every single time. Um, I do I do desire to have a set pattern I do desire to I do desire to have like a set way that I do all this but I'm still trying to figure out all the different things that I prefer to do over the other things you know and then also there are so many different situations and that we can get into doing this job that um, if if you're not open-minded and prepared to think outside the box a lot of times this job will end up putting you in a situation that you need to be ready to think outside the box you can't you can't just be closed-minded and um have like you know you know it all type situation man let me tell you guys if i if i hadn't swallowed my pride and started seriously listening to all the people around isn't that my look Listening to all the people that I work, you know, around me that I, that I worked with and in training and on YouTube. If I didn't listen to those people, shoot, I would not be where I am today at all. So, you know, for everybody who took their time to tell me something or teach me something, uh, I sincerely appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. It, I will be able to do better for my family and in the future, you know, these techniques and these tricks I'll be utilizing on the channel. The new guys that watch my channel, all right, they're gonna, it's important for them to have an outlet, you know, a source of towing information that is, it's not sugar-coated, it's not edited. This is, this is exactly what you're gonna see when you get out here. I mean, you can't, the only thing I don't really do for you, I, I mean, and I'm going to start, but, I don't bring y'all in and when I go into dropping stuff to my accounts because, you know, but I've been working up more and more courage lately. So originally when I first started this, I was shy to talk about the channel to people. 
and I don't know why. I think I was maybe, to be honest, I think I was kind of like embarrassed about it. But over time, I've become more proud of it um, and not so embarrassed. So with that, I feel as if um, since I am not as uh, scared to talk to people about it, I'm fixing to start bringing this camera in with me and letting the new guys see, everybody just see, hey, look, you know, sometimes you, the stuff you got to deal with at dealerships, mechanic shops, man, the, the things they ask us to, places they ask us to put cars or the requests that they may have for us, um, you know, man, a lot of times they'll, they won't even acknowledge or it just depends on the shop. They have amazing shops out there and they got shops that they have no respect for a person's time, you know, and and then you have shops that as soon as they see a record driver in line, they'll hush, they'll move you in front of everybody because they know that you're on commission and you need to get going, right? So it, it all depends on the shop and how you have trained those people to expect your toe-ins, right? So if, if, you, if you go in and you're like, hey, you know, they can tell when, you're, when you need to be going. My body language tells them everything. Um, and it also has gotten me in trouble before, guys. I've, I had a guy one time... I'm not going to say the name of a shop, but I got there to drop, and uh, I go in the office. I'm like, hello, hello, nobody. It's a ghost town, right? So I go back outside, and I'm, like, going to start walking and looking in for a mechanic in the shop, right? And then all of a sudden, a guy that was out front working on a lady's car, he says, hey, over here. Just like that, man. I'm not, I don't have to, I don't have to uh, bend the truth or anything. It, it, it was just like this. He says, hey, over here. And I says, hey, bud. I said, man, my name's Dan with Ace Record. I said, uh, I've got this car on my truck. He said, hold on one second, man. He said, uh, I, he said I'm, I'm going to need a minute. He, was, he had a tester on a, a customer's car, and he was testing the customer's car. All right, y'all, let me tell y'all about that minute crap. I don't play it. I don't care, man. I don't play it. Um, I told him straight up right then. I said, I'm going to give you a minute. At that very minute, his minute started, right? Um, I know you guys may think that this is rude or whatever. My time to me is everything. I do not appreciate anyone ever taking advantage of my time. Even when if, if I'm working for Richard and Laura, it's still my time, right? So I refuse to allow people to not respect my time. So I gave them the exact minute. So once the minute was up, I got out of my truck. My wife was on the phone with me. I walked up to the guy and I said, hey man, I said, time's up. You know, it's time, to, you know. He says, hold on, man. He said, uh, I need to go get with some of my mechanics to move a couple cars so you can get it in the bay. And he said, just give me one more minute. And I said, no. I said, I will not give you one more minute. I said, I will not. I said, what I will do is uh, I will, you tell me where your mechanics are and I'll go find your mechanics and they make a spot right now or I'm dropping it right here. And he says, what? And when I said right here, I was mo motioning where I was standing, which is, guys, I'm not going to lie. It's right in the middle of everything. And this dude, he didn't have no room to be parking anything. Anyways, long story short, he was like, you said what? And I said, right here. He said, and then he cussed me. He called me a name. I'm not going to say the name. He, he called me a name. And that, when he called me the name, I immediately had made the decision that the vehicle was getting dropped right there and there was nothing no one could do about it. And um, I didn't care about any of the consequences. Those didn't matter. Um, one thing about it and two things for sure is my boss had my back anyways, but let me tell you something, guys. Whenever it comes to standing your ground, if you let people walk on you and they will do that until the day you die. Do not let anyone walk on you. Uh, it's a serious thing. Never let anyone cheat you out of your position. Don't, because once you start, it'll never stop. That You'll be a pushover the rest of your life, and I am not. I just can't. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, for accounts, we, we do eat some crap every now and then. Um, we do, right? But at the end of the day, the most important thing uh, is making sure that attitude, you know, attitude's everything. If people, they're not respectful for you or to you, I don't do good with that.
Anyways, y'all, I'm going to fill out some information. It's kind of private. I appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Comment down below on what you may have done differently. Or comment down below on some of y'all's crazy stories about um, dropping at shops and stuff. Or the craziest things you've seen dropping at a shop. Or some of the worst things you've had a shop owner ask you to do to drop a vehicle. I really appreciate y'all watching, man. Subscribe if you haven't.